All right, joining me now here on The Matthew Filipovich Show is Christopher Bennett. Christopher is a spokesperson for the Pennsylvania energy firm Fracking for Pennsylvania. Christopher, thank you for being on the show. Well, thank you, Matthew. I can't tell you how fracking excited I am to be here today. Okay, well, so Christopher, a new study released last month found that since the fracking boom began, the amount of radioactive material in Pennsylvania homes has risen dramatically. Well, it has, Matthew. And as a result, we believe that we must quadruple our fracking efforts immediately. Wait, did you just say you want to quadruple your fracking efforts? Indeed. You see, Matthew, currently only 40% of Pennsylvania homes have radiation levels above the recommended limits. Only 40% have too much radiation? Yes, and obviously that number is far, far too low. We need to get that number higher and quickly. We want to make Pennsylvania Fraxylvania. <laughs> Okay, so wait, after this study on fracking and radiation, you want to do more fracking, four times more fracking. Not the minimum, Matthew. Hopefully that'll be enough. Enough enough for what? Well, to defend the earth, Matthew, our home, and the home of our children and grandchildren. The whole planet is at stake. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You want to defend the planet by giving people radiation poisoning and cancer? Radiation poisoning and cancer? (laughs) No. Well, some people might get that, too, but but no, look at Matthew, we, you, you, me, us, the human race, we are vulnerable. What do you mean, vulnerable? We are weak, Matthew, weak. Just a sloppy bag of bones and muscles and flesh, flesh that can be easily torn apart and broken. But when Ultron comes, though, how are we going to fight him with our measly, puny little human bodies? Wait, did you say Ultron, the the villain from the Avengers? Exactly. I mean, how are we going to stop him? Him and all the other supervillains in the universe. You, you think our pitiful technology can save us? Well, I'm here to tell you, it can't. Are you out of your mind? Well, you're out of your mind if you think that a drone is going to stop Ultron. Seriously. You think, what, a, a Hellfire missile is going to stop Ultron? Grow up, Matthew. We as a species need to evolve. And quickly. So you want to use fracking to radiate people. Yes, exactly. Radiation that will help them evolve into superheroes. And if we gain powers and all of us together can defeat Ultron and any villain that comes our way, even Thanos, the Mad Titan, can't defeat a whole planet of superheroes, not even if he has the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't even... And it's not even just the radiation. Look, we here in the fracking industry have been working on all types of ways to defeat Ultron. You know how fracking causes tap water to be able to be lit on fire? Yes. <laughs> well, we can use that against Ultron. Yeah, flame on! Whoosh! Whoosh! Fire! Fire! You know how, oh, you know how fracking causes earthquakes? Yes. We can also use that against Ultron. We'll cause an earthquake to swallow him up whole. Rumble, 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 rumble. Ah! Earthquake, earthquake. Yeah, just let us quadruple our fracking today and maybe, just maybe, we can live to see tomorrow. We're going to go. Christopher Bennett from Fracking for Pennsylvania. We'll be right back. Climate-destroying Avengers, assemble! 